Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to write algorithm to find n number of Fibonacci series. Here what is Fibonacci? Fibonacci is the number of series that is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, so on. See here, this is the initial number, first two initial numbers that is 0 and 1. Next, third number is finding, adding first two numbers, that is 0 and 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, right? So, here we have to write 1. Next number is finding, adding first two numbers before it. Here, 2 is finding, adding first two numbers before it. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Next number is finding, adding two numbers before it that is 1 and 3 sorry 1 and 2 that is 1 plus 2 is 3 5 is finding adding two numbers before it is that is 2 and 3 that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 5 so this is the format to find Fibonacci series let's start algorithm algorithm is a step by step process process to solve a problem Step 1. Algorithm is always start with start statement. So, we are, here we have to write start statement. Next, step 2. In step 2, we have to read the input value that is read n. Here we have to find n number of Fibonacci series, right? So, here we have to read n value. In step 3, we have to declare the values that is f1. Here we know before first two numbers we know right that is 0 and 1. So here we have to initialize declare f1 is equal to 0 and f2 is equal to 1. i is equal to 2 because here we are printing first two number right. So i is equal to 2. Step 4. Here we have to print first two number that is f1 and f2 f1 comma f2 next in step 5 we have to add you have to find f3 that is using formula f1 plus f2 to find the third number we have to add a first two number that is f1 plus f2 in step 6 we have to print f3 value here we have to print f3 value in step 7 we have to interchange the value of f1 and f2 here declare f1 is equal to f2 and f2 is equal to f3 next Step 8, if i value less than or equal to n, then go to step 5. See here, here read n, in step 3 we have to declare the values f1 is equal to 0 and f2 is equal to 1 i is equal to 2. In step 4, we have to print f1 and f2 that is that is f1 value is 0 and f1 sorry f1 value is 0 and f2 value is 1. Next two, we have to add f3. Find f3. f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 that is 0 plus 1 it become 1. Next, we have to print the value of f3. Next, f1 is equal to f2 that is, sorry, f1 is equal to, interchange the value of f1. f1 is equal to f2 that is, inter, f1 value is interchanged with 1. Initially, it is 0, right? Initially, f1 value is equal to 0. It become f1 is equal to 1. f2 value become f3 that is 1 it is interchanged value with f3 that is f2 become 1 next 
we have to check if i value greater than less or lesser than or equal to n that is i value is that is 2 2 is lesser than or equal to n in case n is equal to 6 this is true right if i value is lesser than or equal to means 2 is lesser than or equal to 6 this condition is true it goes to step number 5 it adding f3 it will find f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 f1 value is 1 f2 value is equal to 1 that become 2 so our series becomes initially it is 0 and 1 next it become 1 next now it f3 value become you have to print f3 value that is 2 like this next it will again interchange f1 with f2 now f1 value become f2 f2 value is 1 right 1 and f2 value is equal to f3 that is f2 value become 2 like this next again it will repeat until i value less than or equal to n then go to step number 5 if this condition is false it will come out of the loop and step number sorry step step number 9 we have to stop the algorithm using stop statement so guys this is the algorithm to find n number of Fibonacci series that is step 1 is equal to start step 2 we have to read the n value in step 3 we have to declare f1 is equal to 0 f2 is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 next step 4 is equal to print f1 and f2 value that is initial two value numbers 0 and 1 in step 5 we have to add f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 in step 6 we have to print f3 in step 7 we have to interchange the value of f1 and f2 f1 is equal to f2 and f2 become f3 in step number 8 if i value less than or equal to n then go to step number 5 if this condition is false we have to stop the algorithm using stop algorithm so guys this is the algorithm to find n number of fibonacci series if you like my video, please like and subscribe it.